Welcome to 843 TV. I'm your host, Lisa Richardson. And I'm Katherine Maideman. And we are so excited to be coming to you from the Bridges Prep School and the new elementary building. It is so exciting, Lisa, because they're starting their classes on Monday and we're gonna sit down and talk about what's going on in the school. Who is coming to join us? First, of course, is Mr. Garley McCullough. He is the CEO of Bridges Prep. And we have two new principals. We have Mr. Tuman, who is the principal for the high school, and we have Dr. Lee, who is the principal for the elementary school. So we're so excited to sit down and we're gonna have a great conversation. So stick right here. We're gonna be back with 843 TV. Where communities come to speak. Eight four three TV, where the Low Country comes to speak. Eight four three TV, where communities come to speak. We are so excited to be with you today from Bridges Prep School, and we are really thrilled to talk with Gary McCulloch, the CEO here at the school, and the two new principals. So much going on, Gary. Thanks for having us. Well, it's great to finally be back here, isn't it? And you know, this <laughs> is something we had uh, been talking about in our last meeting was all of this growth that was gonna happen. And now we are coming live from our new elementary school. Amen, and we started out in Beaufort. We've been outside and now we're in the elementary school and it's wonderful. We're so excited to see what is going on in these walls and what's going to happen on Monday with 1,238 students. Share with us about that. I, I absolutely love it. Well, the first thing I want to do is I want to make sure that I share with everyone out there. Um, we have a staff of 128 students now. And a really important piece of that is having a really strong administrative staff. So we have two new gentlemen that are joining me right next to me. So we have Mr. Tuman who is the new high school principal. And we have Mr. Lee, who is the new elementary school. And all of our students are really gonna enjoy these two gentlemen because they've got that same enthusiasm that I love to bring to every single school. It's infectious. You know, and I'm excited because we were talking off camera that when we started coming here, Lisa and I, we were interviewing, we were in piles of dirt. And behind <laughs> us, there was a sign that says, to be coming this way, yeah. and here we are in the new wing. Yeah. So over the last couple of years, let's talk about a little bit of the development. You know, you, you from being a charter school, and you were, had X amount of kids, and how you have grown over the last two years. So let's start there, and then we'll go on further. Yeah. So it, we are so fortunate to have a visionary board, and a board that's committed to our kids and the growth that was gonna happen. Uh, they went on a search for someone that could help them grow. And I was so fortunate to be accepted, I mean, to uh, get this position here. And like you said, it was all dirt and, and dirt needs to have a vision behind it. <laughs> and, you know, I, I had left a, a school that was, you know, a really well-known school in Beaufort County and, you know that this is gonna be the next flagship school there. You just have to put that mindset in place and get those beliefs in order, hire the right staff, but ultimately it's all about how we make our kids feel when they come in those doors. And are they, are they feeling as great when they enter our school as when they leave our school? And that's what creates that growth in a community. It's not new buildings, new buildings are great but it's all what happens mm -hmm. inside that makes a difference in a child's life. Absolutely. What are some key things that are important to you as far as impacting those kids and the experience they're gonna have? Yeah. So all schools should be focused on social emotional learning of kids. That is the foundation of how we belong to our environment. Uh, schools that are primarily focused on academics are missing the boat because I have to feel connected to my environment. I have to feel connected to the other students in the school. And I've got to be connected with teachers that are con uh, committed to making that happen in their classrooms. When we have that, that's when the magic happens. That's when kids develop that self agency and confidence that they need to have inside their, their classrooms. Mm -hmm. And then they're going to take chances as a result of that. And that is so important to instilling that confidence in our kids so that they excel at the academic potential that we know that they can get to. 
Well, exactly. And along with that, you know, now we have K through 12 on the same campus. So you have mentoring, you have kids looking up to each other, you have older kids helping younger students. And you know, it all that community is coming together with the vision. And I think that's the storyboard we talked about. So here we are coming back to school, COVID, you know, everybody's uh, on pins and needles about how it's gonna affect the students. And so obviously you put some safety precautions in place. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, well, everybody in this room knows that I do not go by the standard. I'm gonna exceed the standard in everything that we do because our school community deserves no less. So what has happened over the past two days is MicroShield 360 has been sprayed on every piece of furniture in here and that is through Carolina Sanitizing. No other school is doing that. And what that is, is that is a topical layer that will kill any spores that touch it. And it proved to be very effective last year in keeping our cases down. Then we also have GPS filters. GPS filters are for all of your airborne spores that get sucked up into those filters that are right above us. That is in every classroom throughout this building. We have sanitation stations, daily temperature checks, but again, there's that social distancing that's involved. And at this point right now, masks are an option under the governor's provisio. But we'll be very diligent in what we do in here. We have amazing nurses that worked so well last year with contact tracing. And we were able to keep our cases down to a minimum and we're the only school in the area that stayed open all year. That's wonderful. And I'm sure that's a huge relief for the parents listening and knowing that their children are coming into a very safe environment. It's very clean, it's very new, and it's very loving. Yeah. So. I know, I, th I didn't know that. I, that's very good. So we're gonna take a break right now and we'll be right back. And I wanna introduce you to the new principals on campus. We'll be right back with 843 TV.